top 10 worst movies of 2015. Fuck my life. Now keep in mind, I didn't see every single shitty movie of 2015. There's a lot of movies that come out during the year that are so bad and obviously bad, I figure why waste my time on Earth watching such pieces of shit? Now throughout the year, I did watch a lot of films and these are some of the films that I came across where I just hated my life afterwards. So here are my top 10 worst movies of 2015. Just stop. Just stop. Liam Neeson, you are better than this. By this point in this franchise, they are just blatant, lazy-ass cash grabs that are trying to capture the success of the first movie without any of the creativity or originality or somebody actually sitting around thinking for five minutes before they write a script. It was never about the money, man. It was about us making shitty remakes for the sake of cash grabbing on better original movies. The next one up is the Point Break remake, and by the way, if you haven't already, please watch my full in-depth review of the Point Break remake. I'll put the link down below. It's a good time. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, you probably know why I love the original Point Break, and everything I love about that original Point Break movie, well, they stripped it, they flushed it down the toilet, and then we got this Point Break remake, which just comes across as a bland, piss-poor attempt at trying to capture some of the vibes that the first movie gave us. I don't hate remakes. I just hate bad remakes. And Point Break? Well, it is the definition of a bad remake. <laughs> Jupiter Ascending, also known as Channing Tatum wearing little elf ears. Now, I'll be honest, there are some moments in this movie where I'm like, they had some good ideas that could have worked. But then you wait a few minutes and the movie just progressively gets worse and worse and worse. The film's all over the place. It tries to be a love story that gets convoluted, then it tries to be this sci-fi movie, and then there's one portion in the movie that tries to turn into a comedy movie for 10 minutes, and the tone's all over the place. And don't even get me started on Eddie Redmayne's fucking character in this movie. What were they thinking? I am the bad guy of this movie, and I want everyone to die. Like, that's a line he gives in this movie, just like that. <sighs> Look, another remake on the top 10 worst. Vacation, starring Ed Helms as Ed Helms. Yeah, the guy plays the same fucking character every movie. I don't comprehend how this film got a theatrical release. It should have went straight to the red box or straight to the Walmart $5 bin. That's where this fucking movie belongs, right in the $5 bin. If they came up with a $2 bin, that's where this movie should go. Or in the trash. Put it in the trash. Now, this film is supposed to be a comedy. But it's not really all that funny. And when you have a comedy that's not funny, well, I would say it didn't quite do its job. Have you guys really ever thought about the concept of Peter Pan? A little boy in green tights that comes into your room and kidnaps your children and takes them away to a magical, mystical land? I don't know. I just want to be Peter Pan one day. Anyway, the next movie up is Pan. When it comes to the story of Peter Pan, I love that concept. That can make for a really great fun adventure film. But when you watch this film, it almost feels like a movie that wanted to be a musical, but it didn't quite have the balls to do it. So you got this watered down, this bland, brown, tiresome movie for two hours. Now listen, in all fairness to this movie, the first 15 minutes could have turned into a good movie. But when they finally get to Neverland and the pirates start singing modern day music, you're just like, what is this? And it just never stops from there and it never gets better. It feels like whoever wrote the script for this film was like, okay, let's interject all the most random shit we can, take out all the fun stuff that makes Peter Pan, Peter Pan, and put some more random dumb shit in there. There we go. The Boy Next Door starring Jennifer Lopez who bangs her son's friend. That's that's the plot to this movie. And the, the guy turns out to be a fucking crazy weirdo. Now, if you haven't seen this movie, you're probably thinking the character of Jennifer Lopez sleeps with some high school kid who's like 16 or 17 years old and really commits a bad act. No, this kid's 19 going on 20. And my biggest question is, what the hell is this kid still doing in high school? Yeah, the boy next door. Like, ugh, who gives a shit? Let's go to the next movie. 
The next movie up is We Are Your Friends. It's essentially Zac Efron wearing headphones pretending to be a DJ for an hour and a half. There's nothing at stake in this movie. There's nothing that truly matters that can't be simply fixed. Yeah, the best way I can summarize this movie and how just lame it is, have you ever went on Facebook and you have those one friends that complain about the most mundane, meaningless shit that can be solved so easily? Oh, I gotta mow my grass, but I need gas for my mower. Oh, I stubbed my toe. It's slightly bruised. That's essentially, we are your friends. <laughs> what am I even talking about anymore? I don't know. I'll be honest with you. The only reason I watch this movie is because I got a DVD screener for free and I had a lady friend over and she begged me to watch the movie. That is why I watch this atrocious pile of boring shit. The next one up is Fantastic Four. You probably knew it was going to make the list, didn't you? And if you guys want more in-depth hate about this movie, please go watch my movie review for this movie. That's a good time as well. The concept behind Fantastic Four is you have this group of people and there's camaraderie between them and they're all fantastic. But you don't get any of that in Fantastic Four. You get this group of strangers that don't even seem like they like each other and they never do anything all that fantastic. And over the years, we've gotten some really bad comic book movies brought to the big screen. But I will say the last 10 minutes of this movie are some of the most forced, laziest attempts at a comic book movie finale slash climax I've ever seen. Dr. Doom looks like some asshole in melted trash bags. He exists for like five minutes in the movie and poof, that's it. It's over. Pixels, the concept behind this is retro video game pixels come to life and start attacking the planet. And that sounds like a really cool concept. I like retro video games. If you could blend that with a really cool live action movie, I think that'd be really fun. But when you fail miserably at doing so and you make a really shitty script that turns into an even shittier movie, well, you get Pixels. And my biggest complaint with Pixels is it just feels like wasted potential. I mean, you have these really cool retro video game characters and you waste them in an Adam Sandler film. I like Adam Sandler from the 1990s, but he's just not funny anymore. He called a shit poop. No, Adam, you just made a really shitty movie that I'm calling poop. <laughs> Now it's time to get violent and sexy. My number one worst movie of the year is Fifty Shades of Shit. The movie Fifty Shades of Grey is an abomination against humanity and it's shitty Twilight fan fiction written for middle-aged women who are too scared to get on RedTube.com and get the job done. Now I'll be honest with you, am I a slight pervert? I, yeah, maybe. Would I like to watch a movie about over-the-top raunchy sex, even if it has a shitty story? I think that would be an okay movie to watch just once. But this movie doesn't even give you that. This is a film about BDSM that doesn't really contain any BDSM or raunchy sex scenes. It just contains unlikable characters that are bland, wooden, and just boring to watch with no charisma whatsoever doing things that you don't give a shit about. I'm honestly trying to think of one redeeming quality about this movie. Uh, nope, nothing. Still a piece of shit. <laughs> Actually, I did think of one thing. I don't make love. I fuck hard. Okay, yeah, that was one line given in this movie. Um, <laughs> so yeah, fuck this movie, fuck this movie hard. It's not good, and that's my number one worst movie of 2015. Woo! All right, guys, so that's my top 10 worst movies of 2015, and if you haven't already, please make sure you watch my top 10 best movies of 2015. Link to that video down below, and now here's my question to you guys, and let me know in the comments, what are some of your worst, least favorite movies of 2015? Leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I do read them, and I rather enjoy them. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, do so, and I'll see you next time.